Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you a small thing I made in Factorio today. It's what you see right now. It's basically a small board that simulates Conway's Game of Life. If you don't know what Conway's Game of Life is, just go to Wikipedia and look it up there. It's There's a quite good article on Wikipedia about it. So, how it works. You... It basically has three states. It can run, it can be paused, and it can be in reset mode. In reset mode, you can basically uh, set the initial condition of your board. For example, if we put it into reset mode right now by doing this, we can set a pattern here. We can set S to 1, we can set S to 1 here, we can set S to 1 here. We can set, oops, we can set S to 1 here, and we can set S to 1 here. And then we have a initial state of the board. And if we disable reset mode, it will run again. So now we're basically simulating the game of life. If we put T to 0 again, it will stop. And when using the signal F, that's basically the frequency. I just reset it again. Um, if we set the frequency F to, I don't know, 15, and disable reset mode, it will run twice as fast. If we set it to something higher, it will um, take longer to update. So, that's pretty much it. So, how it works. These three blueprints are needed to make it work. Well, two of them actually. But um, this is a single cell. These are the lights that indicate the state. This comparator or combinator um, calculates the new state of the, of the, uh, of the cell. No, this one is actually to keep the state from, from like to memorize the state. This one is to calculate the new state. So basically we have a periodic symbol or a periodic signal coming from a sequence generator here that will emit a signal T every so, so many ticks where the amount of ticks is F set in the combinator, which is why it's faster when we set F to a lower number. So this one, if T is set, will write the new, the newly calculated state into the memory. If not, it will, this combinator will just remember its configuration for the next uh, tick. These eight combinators are to get the state from the nearby uh, from the nearby cells: top left, top, top right, right, bottom right, bottom, bottom left, and left. This one just adds them together and checks if it's exactly three. If it's exactly three uh, neighbor cells alive, we will be alive as well. Next iteration. If there are exactly two uh, two neighbors alive, and we are alive as well, then we'll uh, be alive in the next iteration as well. If not, not. And then we just have a small switch that if we're not in reset mode, we apply the calculated value. If we are in reset mode, we take the one from the constant combinator. And that's it. So, the only thing left is the uh, sequence generator. This uh, decider combinator basically increases T every tick by one. This takes the modular, so we count from 1 to 120. And this just emits uh, T as 1 if t is exactly 120, which can only be possible 
if t is set here. So if t is zero, we won't reach 120 because 120 modulo 120 is zero. And this is just the reset parameter. So that's how this works. If you want to build it yourself, I'll uh, put a link to the blueprint somewhere. If you want to build it yourself, you need one of the uh, sequence generators and this thing here. And you need to make sure to place it and then place it again, one to the left. Just placing it here again won't work. You need the connections to be made fully, so you need to place it here again. So you need to have overlapping areas. That's pretty much it, in case you want to uh, build it yourself. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.